The next step we need to take in our statistical analysis is to look at a basic test for differences. And again, this is parametric data we're using, so a parametric test is what we need. Now, we've only got one independent variable here, and that's the type of treatment, and I'll explain that in a second. And we've got one dependent variable as well, and that's distance. And again, I'll explain what that relates to. So our research problem here, or our research question, is this one. Caffeine supplementation and intermittent exercise performance. So what we have here are two sets of data. We have a set of data where some subjects perform the yo-yo intermittent recovery test supplemented with caffeine. And then they also perform the yo-yo intermittent recovery test supplemented with a placebo. So the same subjects have done two tests one in a caffeine condition and the other in a placebo condition. So our independent variable is supplement type or treatment type and that has two levels caffeine and placebo. The dependent variable of course is distance so distance covered in the yo-yo test. Now we want to know whether there is a difference in the average value or the average distance covered in the yo-yo test in a caffeine supplemented trial versus a placebo supplemented trial. So we want to know if there's a difference. We're looking for differences. So the first thing we should do is calculate the mean and standard deviation values for our data. We should already know how to do that if we've seen the previous screencast. And this is where the whole eyeballing of the data becomes important. So there you go, we've got very similar mean values. We've got 1,302 meters in the caffeine trial and 1,294 meters in the placebo trial. So there is a mean difference of approximately 8 meters, so not huge in the scheme of things. If you look at the standard deviations for the data, they're also very similar. So 286.04 meters for the caffeine trial and 283.48 meters for the placebo trial. So the next thing we need to do is actually run a statistical test on this data to see if there is a significant difference between those mean values. Most tests for differences assess the differences between the mean values. That's why it's important to calculate the means and have a look at them. So we know that there's a difference between these means, but we don't know if it's significant or not. So the next thing we need to do is copy our raw data. Once we've copied it, we then need to paste it into SPSS. And that's very simple. It might take a few minutes just for SPSS to warm up. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long and then we're pasting our data in. Notice how our variables aren't labelled at the moment. We click on variable view at the moment at the bottom, we can label them. So the first one is caffeine, second one is placebo. If we go back to data view, there they are labelled up. So we're gonna compare the means. We've got one independent variable and one dependent variable, so we're looking at a t test. Now we've got a pairs of data here because we've got the same subjects doing two tests. So we want a paired samples t-test. If we had two groups of subjects, one group that used caffeine and another group that used a placebo, it would be independent samples. But it's not. In this case we've got paired samples. So there we go. All we need to do is transfer our pair across to the paired variables boxes there, like that. If we click on options, just make sure that this confidence interval percentage is 95%. Click continue and then hit OK. And there we go. Again, we get our descriptive statistics for caffeine and placebo, but we already know those. We get some correlational values, but we're not interested in the correlation. All we're interested in is this value here at the end, the sig two-tailed value, the significance value. So again, all we want to know is whether this value is less than 0.05. It isn't less than 0.05, it's greater than 0.05, so there was no significant difference between the mean values for caffeine and placebo supplemented trials.